Welcome back to the channel, everybody. You know who it is. The baddest man on the planet. The infamous one. The unstoppable. The undefeatable. The human juggernaut himself. Damien McLeod. Did I leave anything out? Um, oh yeah, AKA. The motherfucking Alpha Wolf. <laughs> All right. Yes, we have one of the most triggered videos of 2018 which is a part of a series of videos that I have seen. It all stems around a guy named Athelene <laughs> X. All right. Yeah, shout out to Athelene X, man. I know how it feels to, you know, when you, when you do something pretty, pretty sick, man, and then all of a sudden someone shows up and copies your stuff. Kind of like someone tried to copy something I've done recently, but I kind of kept it inside and I held my feelings all to myself. But yeah, it's funny because the person who is bringing more light to this subject isn't Athelene X. It seems to be no other than Mr. I Will Do Any Things For Views Every Damn Day Fitness, aka Alan Roberts. Now it's funny because recently he has said that um, YouTube has spoken to him um you know about roasting people in the videos that he makes and you know it, 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 it should stop you know but unfortunately this guy is trying to get those subscribers past that 34k he's been seeing at for a while so he's he's at it again but um this video here i'm not gonna play too much of it you know due to copyrights you know even though these guys like to play other people's things but if you do it to them they seem to want to go into the into the fuzz so um v shreds rips off athlean x yet again and this time brenda car i mean brandon carter approves all right so this that's one of listen guy this isn't even i don't know too much about this situation other than the other few videos i saw which is um b shred is doing things that athlete x has done and i i agree i'm not gonna sit here for one second and say he's not clearly there's something going on here of a similar sort <laughs> i'll say that um but that's not what this video is about this video is about the guy sitting right here in front of you what is what i hope he's okay i feel bad i hope that you know your mental state is intact so I want to play a little bit of this and then I'm gonna break down what I show you I'm gonna make sure it's under 30 seconds so that no one can go and tell on the big bad wolf Vince is not a fucking teacher um, if you took transcripts of all his videos and transcripts of all Athlean X's videos and since you're saying he's a teacher that means that you know that's kind of saying academia and you were to run Vince's transcripts through a plagiarism checker his ass would be booted out of academia booted out of being a teacher so fucking fast it would not be funny because he does not acknowledge the source information he has not changed the source information enough to meet you know to meet the criteria for it not to be plagiarism he just fucking has it so, so I understand, I understand you're having a hard time, hard time with this concept, but straight, but straight copying somebody does not make you a fucking teacher. All right, now we're gonna pause it right there. Um, let me go back a little bit. Wow, like the level of um, give, you know, the level of give in this is astounding to me. Now I'm sitting here wondering, like, why do you care? This is uh, this is a situation between Athelene X and V Shreds. Now, uh, last time I looked, Athelene X was a grown ass man. Now, if he has an issue, I would assume that this grown ass man would simply call V Shreds on the phone if there is any problem, and they would simply have a a conversation of sorts. Why are you in your car yelling at the camera, at your GoPro, mad about what another man is going through? I'm pretty sure Athlete Next is sitting back right now having him a nice steak dinner 
with some steak fries and a nice drink kicking back probably gonna watch the UFC that's gonna come on tonight you know relaxing living his life he's not in his car wondering what should I say angrily at my camera in order to get some views and some subs it's not that serious all right <laughs> calm down I mean and I saw um every damn day fitness is buddy um uh what is this Steve Steely Stephen Shaw Steve Steve Shaw Steve Shaw yeah and um I guess uh someone sent him a uh, cease and desist or something you know like these guys are you know there's a lot of stuff going on with these guys right now you know now, I know some people came by and asked me, did I, you know, this is kind of off topic now. They asked me, did I send him a cease and desist because of the video I made about Steve Shaw? And I said, no, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on. This is news to me. I didn't send him anything. It's not because of me at all. Um, well, the reason people would think it's because of me is because, you know, Steve Shaw, you know, he um, tried to start some internet drama. He got someone to make a video about me pertaining to um, buying subs which is completely untrue. I've already debunked that, so we're not even going to go there. But I guess, you know, people thought that I had, you know, called uh, the lawyers or something to call him. And I'm like, I don't man, I haven't thought about that in about two weeks. That video was two weeks old, I think, man. It's not me. You know what I'm saying? You know? And I was watching the video, and I'm saying, now I know why people were, because he was really vague. He was like, yeah, yeah, the per this person knows what I'm talking about. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, people are going to think that's me. And lo and behold, I got a few trolls who sent me a few random messages with a few choice words saying that I told on Steve Shaw because he um, exposed that I allegedly bought fake, you know, subscribers. And I'm like, all right, I don't know. Listen, Steve Shaw, um, he didn't reply back to my video. He's not going to ever reply back to my video because of the fact that, see, it's a subscriber thing with guys like this. That's why he was, you know, he wanted to throw a shot. And he wanted a reaction out of me, which I gave him a little bit of something. I made a really cool video about it. But when it comes to him actually, you know, like this guy here. You know, he's putting V-Shreds on the channel. You know, he's giving V-Shreds, V-Shreds, whatever the heck his name is. He's getting some exposure from this. Now, Steve Shaw knows that, you know, my channel is small. I'm still like at a thousand subs, a thousand plus subs. If you mention Damien McLeod's name in a video, you know that people are going to go over there. Now, some are going to hate, you know, but some are going to be like, wow, this dude is the baddest man on the planet, the human juggernaut himself. How did I not know about this? Well, because, you know, um, I don't get the same exposure that some people are getting. I don't have people mentioning my names. I have people throwing shots at me. I have people stealing my ideas. I have people threatening me, threatening to beat me up. <laughs> Holy shit, you know how funny that sounds? Someone beating me up? That's like someone saying, I'm going to turn on a flashlight and block out the sun or something. It's just That sounds ridiculous. That's how ridiculous that shit sounds. But anyway, yeah, you know, so of course Steve Shaw is not going to mention me. Alan Roberts, he's talked a bunch of crap about me on numerous, you know, videos that other people have made, you know. And, um, but they won't dare get on their platform and speak my name because I am like Voldemort and they know thou not speaketh the nameth of the baddest man on the planet because what's going to happen is people are going to go over there and they're going to check him out. Who is this Damien McLeod guy that has these people so triggered that they would take screenshots and post it on his Facebook page but not be like Steve Shaw said, man enough to say something to his face or like Alan Roberts you know Alan Roberts has said a few things about me you know what I'm saying he called me an effing idiot one day on his live stream um I have went to his live stream I was actually checking him out you know this this is like um before you know this is like I just kind of found out about him and some guys they recognized me some some trolls from a forum and uh you know they said some really really vulgar n-word comments towards me and then i said a few things about how beautiful their mother is and how i like to do things to her that you know like take her out to ice cream to baskin robbins and we can go and watch a movie you know go to the drive-in and things like that have a lot of fun you know go go watch a watch a game or something you know but <laughs> things like that and then all of a sudden this this guy with this anger that you see here let me show you a fucking teacher. So, like, when you were in your endurance body recomp, you know. Uh, okay, that wasn't an angry clip. Damn it! 
messed up my point. But he angrily looks at the camera and says something and just blew me off like I was some peasant. And I don't play peasant. But yeah, you know, he then he called me an effing idiot. And you know, I was like, oh, then he proceeded to do what he does and bash Tyrone, um, the fitness addict. You know, he, he does that a lot. He seemed to be a bit jealous of that guy. So he did some bashing on him, which YouTube allows, you know. And um, yeah, I kind of sat there and I looked, at, I looked at his face and I'm like, I don't think I like you that much anymore, my friend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then that was pretty much it. So ever since then, you know, he's kind of had this kind of thing against me. But yeah, this video is kind of it's kind of getting past uh, its time. I just thought I wanted to bring, you know, a little um, reality to this triggered situation here. This guy is clearly upset about a situation that doesn't even involve him and like most youtubers do like i am doing currently right now i am using other people's situations for views and subscribers so if you haven't already done so make sure you go ahead and like comment and subscribe and um yeah name dropping it seems to help v stress athlete x brandon carter steve shaw oh shit i see here ronnie coleman on the screen any other names on here KSI, KSI, oh, there goes Blaha, Jason Blaha, I'm gonna name drop another guy. Oh, Infinite Elge Intensity, yo. Elge Intensity is epic, I like watching his stuff. But he is friends with those other guys, so I know eventually someday he's probably gonna roast me too. I, I wish he would, I really wish he would, because I'm not like most guys, I'm not gonna take it to the heart and get all mad. I'm like, yes, he just mentioned my name. Send some subscribers over here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> mention me, roast me, Elge, and roast me. I could imagine um, an Elge Intensity roast, it'll be so many martial arts um, fraud jokes, it will be so funny. And he's like, martial arts fraud, martial arts fraud. It's funny, because then, you know, since I was a, a, a wee lad, I've been doing this. So it's funny how people even call me a fraud. But, you know, all the people who call me a martial arts fraud, if we were ever in a situation where we would have to go fisticuffs, they wouldn't be talking that, that, that fraudulent shit. It wouldn't happen. But anyway, yeah. Don't forget, people, like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. I am subliminally in your mind. All right? So until next time, get to the gym, do work, and damn it, muscle up. My adversaries cry like hoes, fully eradicate my foes. My lyrics explode on contact, came in you hoes. Who else but mama's only friend? But the phony niggas in the world say my name, watch bitches come. Now fire with